further make, make a square root and it turns out to be eight. And actually, we, uh, with Men Chen from Station Q, we realized there's another sequence exists. We can define this general supercohomology class as a central extension of this uh, special supercohomology class. Yeah, so there's another sequence. But in 3 plus 1D so far, we don't know what, sh what sh we should put here. Maybe it's, it's H upper 2 GBZ2, but, uh, but we only have a conjecture. Uh, okay, yeah, there could be some potential application in high energy. Uh, last year I wrote a paper that uh, uh, showed that uh, Majorana zero modes actually carry further fractionalized the CPT symmetry, like T quartic e to minus one and C quartic e to minus one, P quartic e to minus one. And it happened to match the three generation. And uh, ten, uh, I can also compute this uh, mass mixing matrix and uh, happen to intrinsically close to the experiment measurement. And there are also some prediction for the mass ratio and the CP violation angle. Uh, but uh, for condensed matter ap application, I think uh, theoretically it could be very interesting that we think about SPD phases protected by supersymmetry by using this uh, super cohomology class kind of construction. And uh, uh, recently we are working on some so called uh, twisted uh, supersymmetric model. And uh, um, maybe there could be some new route towards quantum gravity. And uh, on the application side, I think uh, this kind of uh, SPD phase. Uh, um, uh, that we call a strong index. They are stable against arbitrary um, kind of disorder and uh, interaction will be very useful for this measurement based quantum computation. Okay, thanks. Yeah, 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 it's, uh, it's uh, Kitai for kind of Z8, but the Z8 includes this Majorana chain. So in our definition, Majorana chain is uh, intrinsic topology order. Because even, even without any kind of symmetry, because Feynman parity is uh, symmetry, you are unable to kind of uh, de destroy it. So that's why, yeah, actually it's Z4. If you so, so just uh, in more, all the more numbers of the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, because uh, the symmetry group then it's more complex. It's not just a GB cross uh, uh, Z2F. It's something like uh, uh, Z4T. Uh, the, because it's T is going to PF, so the whole group structure is Z4T. So uh, I can, uh, actually I did a 1 plus 1D and 2 plus 1D, but a 3 plus 1D is still uh, yeah, in progress. Yeah. yeah, so 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1D, the classification is just a Z2, but a 3 plus 1D is more complicated, I think. Yeah, I, I try to consider some uh, kind of similar kind of discrete space-time sigma model to understand those phase. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to uh, check what I would think is the natural definition of symmetry protected topological phase. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think invertible TQFT can be more than that in yeah, general. But then, anyway, in the same spirit, I think the natural meaning of the word symmetry protected topology. I mean, a topological phase is something that can't be deformed to trivial without closing the gap. So, I'd like to say symmetry protected topological phase is a phase with an additional symmetry so that there's no deformation without closing the gap. The trivial phase maintains that symmetry. Yeah, yeah. Is, that, is that the yeah, yeah, that's the definition, yeah. Because you have six. Oh, yeah, but uh, the, the other point is just uh, kind of some property, yeah. I try to make it more rigorous to rule out all the other possibilities. Yeah, sounds like privilege. Well, no, you said something about the quasi particles in the bulk. I mean, I didn't see that in my Oh, no quasi particle, yeah. It's kind of invertible. If it's an invertible TKFT, you can show there's no quasi particle. Yeah. <laughs>